Hello. It's a cold day today. It's it's uh, mm, brightening up slowly. Lovely skies again. I love grey skies with light shining through. And perhaps a little bit of blue here and there. Uh, I, I, one of my mottos that I apply to myself is keep it simple, stupid, kiss. K-I-S-S. -S. It's very hard, or very easy to go wrong if you if you attempt the impossible. Better to do simple, to do simple things well, I, I reckon, rather than, than than start doing great bridges and, and and street scenes with a lot of detail and perspective. Landscape is is, is much easier in the sense that you can you, you can do simple areas like tree shapes, but they can be very effective. And, and I also believe that if you let the picture do all the talking, that is to say you put every single detail in, it leaves nothing for the viewer to, to imagine, to fill in the gaps, so to speak. So um, well, I've done this simple drawing. I've put a bit of a villagey on the, on the other shore here. I've got some, maybe these boathouses are a bit too, too small. Uh, Well, uh, I don't know, maybe my boats are too big. Anyway, I, I've, got, I've got this little stylus I made years ago. It's just a dowel with a, with a hole drilled in the end into which I put a matchstick, and a sharpened matchstick to come to that. And I've got some acrylic paint diluted from yesterday. So we'll, let's put this in. In the ink, I've changed the, the angle of my of my board. I've gone back to more acute. Well, depends which way you look at it. But it's about nine, It's about eighty degrees. It's not the ideal, but I can't film any other way really. If I put it much flatter to 30 degrees, which is the, the sort of traditional angle, I can't get the camera angle right. All right so let's just. I'll do some ink work on this with uh, not ink, I'll have some brush work. Oh, that's got a bit better right there. That's, uh, let's just fill it in a little bit. Can be a bit of a dirty chimney stack. Uh, the thing is that if the, I, the pen needs to be like that for the ink to work its way down to the uh, to the tip, but holding it at this angle, it's not just some planks. Detail. Put in some Just some boats there. A bit of a, a marker. So just a low, low tide, low water. Okay, we've got some trees coming up. See, so when you've got the ink flowing, it's, it's pretty good. I'll thicken up the, the, the landscape there. Or the, the bank a little bit. Okay, let's just Okay, that's about all I'm going to do with that. I'll get a, a small brush and 
Uh, nice little brush, mm -hmm. worn out. Don't use your best brushes for, for this. So I'm going to just, just put in a bit of heavy, heavy stuff here. Some ivy in these trees. Shading some of this roof. There. By the time the, the colour goes on, it, it turns turns it all down. Okay. Nothing more than that. Just gently catching the high spots and try not to get too, too many blobs. You can always touch it on a bit of paper just to take the excess moisture off. I'll work pretty neat on that far ground there. We're just getting some I love doing this. It, it, it's, the black and white is, gives this lovely contrast, of course, that makes this look a bit better than it actually is. Now, if I black in this out of this wooden side of this boathouse and do the same there. Oh, we'll fill that one in. So that, that gives some sort of interest there. Okay, so we, we don't want any trees. We can put this grass and stuff, bushes. Okay, well that looks quite quite attractive, doesn't it? Right, okay, clean the brush. I'll dry the, uh, the, the ink off. So take your headphones off if you're listening on headphones. I don't want to blast your ears. So I've got my usual palette, which is now covered in ink spots, or acrylic spots. Uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. It's Cotsman watercolour. I've got a tube, a little tube of artist quality lemon yellow. I'm going to squeeze that out later on when I finish painting. Let it go hard overnight, or harden. These are quite expensive, but I'm using the Cotsman, which are student qualities. 21 milliliter tubes, a Fabriano 130 pound weight that I buy from Grantham's, about 100 sheets at a time, it's quite inexpensive for what it is. So here we go, let's uh, wet the paper all over, I haven't decided on the sky yet, 
but I want plenty of colour. If, if you're using line and wash, I, I'm learning as well, really. I'm, it's it, it's good to, to have quite a bit of colour, or at least the pigment needs to be quite solid because you want the, the ink work to dry or to merge back into the painting rather than stand out too much. But there are no rules really. We'll, we learn to use what we've got and make the best of it. Right, um, I'm going to put a, I like burnt sienna in the skies as well as the yellow ochre. But I want plenty of light because we have lots of light in the sky. And you can go a bit of sienna in, a bit of alizarin in there. Let's get some of that in there. Just repeat on the water what I put in the sky. It's a nice streaky. Now blue and and red. I have to add some nice blob of uh, ultramarine later as well. It's getting a bit sparse in the corner there. Now we can put a bit of bit of ultramarine in there. Have a cloth handy to take all the surplus moisture out of your brush. Uh, put it in there. Now I'll just see what happens to that. Now that should all, should all blend and merge. It's a little bit unpredictable at this stage. I've taken a bit of a risk with that blue, but there's no reason why I shouldn't put in some, some of the blue reflections in here with a dry brush. Now. Okay. So we've got the water in the sky, more, the water the same colour as the sky. Now we need to work on the landscape. I'm going to just reclip the paper as you can see, it dries. I was going to do an acrylic today, but I don't know. I, I looked at the one I did yesterday, but it looked quite nice. I'll do something else with a similar vein. But I, 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 I looked at a, a lovely acrylic painting that Alan, Alan Owen did. He emailed it to me. He didn't, sadly, he didn't video it. It was of Chrysanthemum, and I've asked him to do it again, but he's not very well at the moment, so. Uh, I'm sure, I know most of you watch his channel as well, and Stephen Cronin, the three of us are doing all this. And uh, Alan's a great guy, I spent a lot of time on the phone to him, and he really is a good, a good painter. You see the simple stuff he does as his demonstrations, but he's a classy, classy act. Right, let's give that a bit of a dry. Right, uh, I'll go to do some distance. I'm going to try and keep it away from, from the church there. Uh, blue. Uh, bit of light red. Bit of lemon yellow, I think, in there. Just a touch.
저는 글쎄 Now we'll put a bit of sienna, burnt sienna, in with the blue there. Just get a bit of warmer. Dark in there. Very delicate because you can't really see what the rest of the brush is doing. That'll do, I can straighten that up when that's really dry. So I'll just quickly use, I'll use a round brush to do the touch of this tree here. This, this is a number 10, it's a sable mix. It's a, it's a nice brush, it doesn't hold the, the amount of moisture that a sable will. As you can see my palette is quite Quite basic for this. Now I'll put in a bit of blue behind that. And that'll give a bit of depth to that. And I can put in a bit of bit of uh, sienna in there as well. To warm the front up. I'll. Uh, Use a, a persiana roof. Okay, that'll do. And I'll put in a grey there, red and blue. I didn't intend this to be a minimalistic colour. I'm trying to make it colourful, but I don't think I've succ I've, uh, I'm succeeding, am I? Well, we'll put a bit of a green in there. So, burnt sienna, lemon yellow, and a bit of blue, so I can get a nice dark. You can use Payne's grey if you wish for for this. Let's. Uh, Some nice warm centre in there. Okay. I'll just put a bit of detail around here. Sort of red boat there. Bit of shadow. That side so taken care of. Now carefully I've got to I've got to do this this lot here and I'm going to just do those in blue, bluey grey.
just the silhouette of Oh, it's just some buildings in there. So that just shows something going on along there. And I'm going to just clean out that horizon a little bit. Just going to soften it. I want to do a bit, a bit more detail. Because I want to put some yachts against that there. So. And let's just lift out with a, with a bit of that brush. Get some some of these here. That's why you put the dark bit there, so you can do this. You can lift out, and it just just shows some some interest there. Um, also, uh, so we've got some boats in there. Uh, let's. Uh, Oh, just the little figures. Oh, we can show a little bit of reflection. No, you can't show the reflection, they won't show them. But we can put this boat there, just showing. Right. Not made a very good job of that boat there. But Mast on there. Clue what I'm doing when it comes to boats, as you can see. All right, let's just shorten that a bit. Right, okay. It's probably going the wrong way.
something like that. Okay, let's put a bit of shadow in and on here, some cast shadow. Bring it to life a little bit by putting the shadows in. Oh. A dry brush on there. So a bit of ripple, uh, it's got a bit, a bit even, isn't it? So I'll use the hake, never mind. I'll use the hake in there. Just red and blue, just, just the dark. I think that's probably better left alone, wouldn't it? But uh, anyway, I uh, don't know what we've got there. Right, okay, so there's a bit of smoke coming out of there. Right, I think it's a bit muddy, but let's put in some, some points. Put it in a mountain, let's see, let's see what it's like. Well, this is the only way to see what it looks like. <coughs> I think maybe these figures need to be a little bit bigger. Let's, uh, let's do that.
Well, they're a bit better. Hmm. Right, I don't know what you think of that. I'm, I'll put it in the mount and we'll have a, have a look at it. It's a better, better coloured mount than, than the other one. I don't know, it looks alright. The sky's a little bit heavy, I think, for the, for the landscape. Or oh, maybe the horizon's a little bit low. But you go into the picture, and I, a bit of advice that I got years ago about doing figures. Have them going into the picture, going walking in rather than coming out like head on it helps to take the viewer into the picture so so we're following the estuary we've got this and we can go around to this village over there there's there's enough little bits of interest in there to make it look quite a reasonable painting but not a great painting by any means but keeping things simple let's move the camera around so we're square Oh, there we are, so I'll zoom in and you can have a look at what I've done. So they're the they're my figures. There's a few a couple of some boat houses and a building there with a sort of smoke coming out of the chimney, stand of trees. I just like love doing those. And some boat shapes, some yachts and the village in the distance and some yachts on that horizon there so there we are thanks for watching i'll see you later bye bye